what we're going to do in this recording is convert a simple HTML web page into a Dreamweaver template. Once I've created a basic page without my main content of the page, I'm going to know all my areas are going to be the same across all my pages in my website. These will be things like my header, my navigation bar, and my footer. The things that are going to change will be areas where I'm going to put my main content, maybe a sidebar, maybe something else. What I want to do is I want to put where I have the section laid out from my main content, I'm going to insert an editable region. I'm going to go up to Insert, Template Objects, and Editable Region. Dreamer is going to automatically convert the document to a template for me. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to give a name for my editable region. And click OK. Now you notice I put the edible region right where my mouse cursor was. I'm going to want to make sure that I'm inside of a div element. I'm not inside of an element like a paragraph tag or a header tag because I can't put other paragraphs, headers, tables inside of one of those types of elements. So generally speaking, I'm almost always going to use a div for my editable region. I will remove any content that doesn't need to be in my editable region. And while I only see one editable region outlined here in this teal color, I also have a couple others. One of them is my title, so I can change that across all my pages. Because this is going to be a sample page, I want to go ahead and give it a good title name. That way, in case I forget to apply a title to the site, it still will have one. For example, something like My Demo Site. When I go to save the document by hitting Control S, it's going to automatically ask me to save it as a template because it got converted to a template. I can give it any name I want to. I'm going to choose in this case just template and click the save button. It's going to ask me to update the links. We're going to say yes. And you'll notice that it creates a special folder in my files panel. Underneath templates, you'll see the template.dwt which, if you look up at the file name, is now what file we are working on. This is all I need to do in order to create a Dreamweaver template based off of an existing page.